So like I mentioned in the last video, uh, one of the things that came out of this uh, ongoing season of like just dry desert land, mundaneness, um, was actually found through um, stillness. Uh, the lack of anything happening. In this stillness, I was able to really, um, you know, redefine things that were already existent um, or existing in me um, about how I wanted to go about being an actor and a storyteller and a creator. Long story short, for the longest time, um, very well-meaning uh, friends, colleagues, and instructors would basically, in a sense, tell me who I am as a performer, as an actor, as a storyteller, as an entertainer, et cetera, et cetera. And I went with it because like, I didn't know anything about acting when I first started acting, um, didn't know anything. So I'm just like, whatever y'all say I'm gonna do, you know, within reason, I'm not about to, you know, go jump off a bridge or something or, you know, do something that I'm not comfortable with, but like, whatever type or whatever y'all say that I am, I'm gonna try to make that my bread and butter. And that did serve me for a season really well, but it wasn't the full picture of who I was. And because I had got so inundated with that and so focused on trying to make sure that I hit whatever these things are, um, it completely just, tucked under the rug a side of me, a very important side of me that still exists. For the longest time, I was just like, I'm gonna be the serious leading man, you know, dude that's kicking down doors, SWAT team kind of guy, tough, strong, silent type, you know, all this stuff. And that's very well in my wheelhouse and a part of who I am um, in, in, in everything, but I'm naturally a big old goofball. Um, so like all this comedy stuff and all the like silly, like, you know, uh, goofy TV shows that used to come on, like, you know, Disney Channel or Nickelodeon or, you know, PBS and stuff like kids stuff. Um, I was just like, I, you know, I would be good at that because like, I'm, I'm a big kid. I'm naturally a goof, but I'm like, I'm a serious actor. I can't do that, that I can't, you know? And, um, I've ignored that side of me for so long and I started to slowly get back in touch with that side and now it's a part of me. It always has been just like the other stuff like the serious gritty, the grounded dramas is a part of me. But now I have more of a clear insight on how I approach it and which ones that I you know, go out for. I ramble on to say that in stillness, you can find who you are, you can rediscover who you are and you can get rid of what you aren't or things that are a part of you that aren't you. I know that sounds all like whatever, but like, I, you know, I hope, I hope you're catching what I'm saying. Sometimes stillness, as painful as it can be, as confusing as it can be, as frustrating as it can be, as scary as it can be, um, when we allow it, it can really show us some insight and um, uh, teach us some things and help us redefine some things for ourselves. So in the comments, I would love to know um, if y'all have ever been um, in a season or a moment in life where everything just stopped. And first thing that comes to mind for me is like COVID when it was first a thing in 2020. If you're an actor, the strike uh, last year, was that last year? Um, moments like that in life where like everything is kind of stopped. Were you able to find or redefine some things or some strategies or ways of operating in the midst of like complete just stillness were you able to do that and if you were what were some of those things and how did you get to those uh moments or those points as always if you like any of the content shared in the video please take a moment to like the video share the video leave a comment and don't forget to visit my website at franco3rd.com thank you peace